Hi, I'm Michelle with MichelleFitness.com and Body Mind Fitness Solutions. I'm demonstrating how to do a basic yoga routine. You can begin with basic breathing exercises. The only real contraindication to this routine is if you're pregnant, not to do downward facing dog or any types of inversions in general for a yoga practice. I'm going to begin with a yoga mat, tight comfortable clothing on, as well as pulling my hair back. If you do have long hair, I highly suggest it. And we're going to begin with a sun salutation, moving into some basic stretches. You can hold these postures for as long as you like and breathe in them as long as you like. I'm just going to simply demonstrate so you get the idea. Let's begin. Inhale up. Exhale back. Float down. You can bend your knees a little if you have limited flexibility in your hamstring. Draw your head towards your knees, or if this is too difficult, place your hands on your shins. Then inhale up. Exhale down. Step back into a plank position. Draw your knees down, unfold your toes, and lower your body weight down, drawing the chest up. Keep the neck neutral, shoulders roll back and down, and elbows stay tight. Your thumbs should be just below your breast line. Exhale down. Float back into downward facing dog. Your palms are going to get nicely grounded. Make sure the thumbs are rooted in all of the fingers. Come up on your toes, lift up high, pull your navel up and draw your head through your arms. Let your head go, just shake it out and draw your heels down, softening your knees. You want to try to move the heels towards the floor but you don't want stress on the hamstring. So it's very important that you feel a sense of balance from front to back, right to left. So just play with this a little bit and take several breaths here. I recommend about five breaths. Then you can just drop your knees down, unfold your toes, and stretch and lengthen your spine by drawing your hips back. Let your head go. Spread your shoulder blades and find your breathing. It's the same yogic breathing that we start with in our breathing video. Keep breathing deeply. Come on up onto all fours. You're going to go into cat stretch. Inhale up, draw the chin up, the arms become straight, palms grounded, navel moves towards the sky. And then grip the toes, press the belly button down, draw the chin up. And relax on all fours. For core strength, let's take the right arm and left leg and extend it. Square the hips, keep the arm near the ear, level it with your shoulder. Make sure the opposite arm and shoulder and wrist are in alignment. And exhale down. And then switch. Remember to breathe. And exhale down. From here, go ahead and come right into a comfortable seated position. One heel in front of the other, or if you like, one heel on top of the other. Bring your fingertips out to the sides of your body, drawing your shoulders down, and tippy-toe your fingers to the right, flattening the palm, dropping the elbow, and inhale up to stretch the lateral side of the body. Gaze upward at the fingertips and reach for the sky. You want to feel this coming from the hip all the way up to those fingertips. And you'll breathe for several breaths deeply into the rib cage. In each and every pose, you want to make sure you're finding the breath, where it's located in the body, and really exploring that breath. And take as much time in each pose as you like. And then exhale down. Tippy toe the fingers out on this side and inhale up. And exhale down. Add in some gentle shoulder rolls, just being mindful of how they feel. We all carry a lot of tension in the shoulder area. A lot of anxiety gets stuck there. Roll forward. Good. And then inhale up. Bring it down to Namaste. Holding it here. You can pause for several breaths here if you like. From here, you're going to take your right leg and extend it out. This heel will be located in the center of your body in line with your nose. Fingertips are out. Inhale up. Rotate your body towards the foot, keep the foot flexed, bend the elbows, and reach out towards the foot. This is where a yoga belt can come in handy. You would place your hands around the belt and breathe deeply here. You want to look past the toes, drawing the belly forward and the back nice and flat, and inhale up, 
and exhale down. Again, you will switch sides. Same thing on the other side, inhaling up, rotate the navel towards the leg, bend the elbows, reach out, or again, grabbing your strap. Breathe deeply, several breaths, and then up and exhale. This is where you can also go into a split stretch. For many people, this is difficult. So what you can do is you can grab a blanket or a yoga block. And you would place this blanket right underneath your buttocks, okay, in the split position, or you can do the same with a yoga block. This will help elevate your spine a little bit. So let's inhale up and exhale. You can reach over to one side of your foot, gaze upward, and then switch. I like to kind of rotate back and forth or if I'm feeling stiff, I may hold it and stretch on one side for a while. Again, it's up to you how long you stay in each and every pose. And exhale down. Then shake out your legs and bring them center. While sitting still on your blanket if you need it, inhale up, exhale, reach forward. Again, this is where you use your strap or your yoga belt. Holding it here, breathing deeply. If you're advanced enough, you can even crisscross the hands. Make sure the belly and the heart are leading in this stretch and that you're gazing over the toes. You don't want to round. It puts too much pressure on your spinal column. And inhale up. Exhale. Bring both feet together. Separate your big toes. Press your elbows into your knees, pull up out of your shell just like a tortoise, lifting from your lower part of your spine. You're going to draw your weight forward or reach your hands out. Just go with your natural flexibility. Yoga postures should not feel stressful. The idea is to be relaxed in each and every pose and go to your edge. After a few breaths, you go beyond that edge and relax. Good. Our final position is going to be a yoga twist. I'm going to give you a very basic twist that again is good for all levels. One heel in front of the other in the center of the body, fingertips down. Inhale up and exhale. Place one hand on your knee, lift and turn gazing behind you. And then you'll do the same thing again on the other side. This posture is great and it's a wonderful posture to take a lot of deep breaths. It is a detoxing posture that helps cleanse the liver, the kidneys, and the digestive tract. So spend some time here. Your final movement will be a nice big inhale center and exhale into your final yoga breathing. You can either bring your hands in namaste to your heart, the third eye, or palms open in the receiving position.